Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another legal question, remove k digits. So let's read this problem and understand what the question is asking. Given a non-negative integer nums, rep num represented as a string, remove k digits from the number so that the new number is the smallest possible. Okay, let's look at a few very simple examples to see what this problem is asking us to do. So we are given an input as a string, which contains digits in it, and we are also given a k. And k is the number of elements we need to remove from this string. Um, so if we are given two digits and k is two, then we just remove both digits and we need to return a zero in this case. Okay. Um, similarly, in this case, we're given um, over here five digits and k is one, so we only need to remove one element. So the question you need to ask yourself is what is the element that I should remove to give me the lowest possible answer? And it's not like finding the max because the max is two here, but if you remove the two, you get 10,000 and that's not the answer you want. So you want to read the string from this side, from the left side, and remove the first number here, if k is 1. And we cannot return a 0, 2, 0, 0. We need to uh, format it in a way that's readable. So we need to take away any leading zeros, which is an edge case. So we just need to return uh, the 200 here. Great, so I've taken another example from the question and this is a larger string and we're given k equals 3. What that tells us is that we need to remove 3 elements from this string to get our um, minimum input that we need to transform and return. Okay, so how do we think about um, strategizing and solving this problem? Well. I, what I've done here is I've just drawn out um, in a graph what this input would look like. And we can see here that after our 4 here, after this number, we have a slight decrease, right? Um, and then over here at 2, we also have a decrease. So we want to read our input from the left side and move forward. And what we want to see is where is it that our decrease is happening. So if I go through this input and I see, okay, well, I have a higher number on the left here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So I remove the 4 and then I come to the 3 and, and then I look ahead again and we, we can see that, okay, well, I have a 2 here and 2 is lower than 3. So yes, I, do, I can remove this higher number from the front. And what this is doing is essentially it's minimizing the value of our output, which is exactly what we need to return. And then I'm back over here at 2, and then the next number is also 2. So at this point, my graph is steady, right? So I, do, I don't need to remove any items in this case. And then I'm back at 1, and I can see that I have a downward slope again and what this downward slope tells me is that I have a number before me that is higher and if I remove that number then my answer will be lower and that's exactly what we want to do so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this too and then we just return what we're left with which is one two one nine Okay, so the discoveries we have made so far is that we need to read our string from left to right and if I see a number that is um, lower than my previous number, then I need to remove this previous number from um, this string. So what is, a, what is a data structure that comes to mind when we are trying to remove the last number we have seen? And one of the things that you can think about is a stack, and stack uses last in, first out. So it uses the LIFO method, and we can apply this to solve this problem. So let, let me go through the steps manually, and then it will become really clear to you how we can um, solve this problem by reading this array and putting the items in a stack. So let me draw out a stack here for our input. 
And what we're going to do first is we encounter one and we will just put that in the stack because there is nothing else to compare to and it will go in the stack. And then we're going to check, okay, is my stack empty? And it's not empty, so we're going to compare four. And is one greater than four? Is one, so what we're looking for is this downward slope, right? So in this case, it's not. So we then put the next uh, number in our stack, which is four. So now the stack has one and four, so we're here. Okay, and then we compare three to four. So we are here at three. And we're comparing these two values. Now we do see a downward uh, slope here at three. And what does this tell us? That yes, we are able to uh, take out this number from um, our input to make it a lower input, right? So we take out four and then we put three in the stack, okay? So that's how this happened. And we also minus one from K. So k is now 2. So what is this telling us? It's just telling us, okay, now we only get to remove two more items when we see this downward slope. And then I'm back at 3, and I encounter a 2. Now, if you see here, um, the 2 is also a downward slope from 3. So it is less than 3. So what we're going to do is just remove the 3, and then we'll put the 2 back in. And then we're at the next 2. And we can see that, okay, well, there is no downward slope here. It stays at the same place. So we enter 2 into our stack, okay? And we're at this line here. And then we encounter a 1. And you can see it's going down. So this is when we um, take out that 2 and we input the 1, right? And then we are at 9 and we are at the end of our iteration and there are no numbers after. So we will go ahead and add the 9. So this is how we get our answer, which is 1, 2, 1, 9. Great, so let's look at an edge case here. If we're given an input like this that's in ascending sorted order already, like 5, 6, 7, 8, um, then we have a line like this and there's no downward slope. And let's say k is 3, right? Well, our stack would be empty if we applied the same um, formula that we used. So we need to take care of this exception. And what we're essentially going to do is just iterate over our list and pop the elements from the back. So we'll take off 8 first and then 7 first and then um, 6 because k is 3. So we'll iterate over this and just remove those elements. So we return our correct answer, which is 5 here. Um, so that is one edge case we need to keep in mind. Also, if in this case k was 4, um, our stack would be empty. And in that case, we just return our uh, 0. So those are the edge cases we need to handle after we go through and populate our stack. Okay, if all of this makes sense, let's dive into the code. The um, time complexity is just very simple, O of n, because we're iterating through our um, string here, and our space is also O of n, because we created this additional um, list here. Awesome, so I'm back in the code, and what I've done is I've created my empty list here. ST and what I'm gonna do next is iterate over uh, my nums. So for every digit in num um, and here is where I'm going to check whether that digit is um, less than its previous digit. So if it's a downward slope. So that's what we're checking here. So I'm gonna say um, while our stack is not empty and uh, the last item that we put in the stack and that's we get that by doing negative one here in the index um, and that that last item if that item is greater than my current digit and we have a value for k so k is uh, greater than zero then we will pop that element and that's how we're removing our um, elements from our input to get the lowest possible element. So we'll say st.pop um, and we are also going to decrement k because we already took care of that k value. So k minus equals 1 and then otherwise we will insert the element in the stack. So 
sd.append. Okay, I'm going to put, oh, oops. I'm going to put in um, the digit here. Okay. Okay, awesome. So now the next thing we need to do is take care of our edge cases. And I've just copied that from my answer that I did. So I'll just go over it with you. So what I'm doing here is if it's a case that's in ascending order, then I'm just popping those elements up to the kth element. Um, and you can also do this in this form in Python. So that's also possible. Uh, I'm just more comfortable this way. So that's why I've done it this way. Um, and then here, what we're doing is doing uh, removing the um, first zero, if we have a case where we have a zero, two, zero, zero, then we need to remove that first zero and just return 200. Um, and then if our answer is uh, blank, then we need to return a zero. So those are the two edge cases that we need to take care of. And that's what I've done here. Okay, awesome. So this looks good. Let me go ahead and run code. Make sure there's no typos. Okay. So yeah, the answer is correct. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. Awesome, accept it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. All right, happy coding, guys.